Manchester United faced off again of Brentford yesterday and what ended in a 1 0 victory for Manchester United. I did predict 1 0, but I predicted it to Brentford after that dreadful performance the other day against Newcastle. And Newcastle went on to win 5 1 against West Ham. Incredible result. What I've got to say about yesterday's result was it was one way easily for Man United, but Man United were like, they were bang average at best. I've seen all this praise online for them. You know, the back five were, were, were great. They did their job. Bruno Sabitzer and McTominay were fine. Nothing special. Rashford has just really become a very selfish player. Wasteful, and he just keeps missing chances. Anthony with a great assist, but again, he was wasteful again. And uh, Sancho, again, mediocre. People hyping up these players need to understand you're increasing your expectations for the next game for them to be absolutely shit. You're going to rinse the bits the next game. You're going to rinse Sancho next game. You're going to rinse Anthony next game. You're going to rinse Dallop next time. The hay was a, uh, the hay was a six at best. The back five got a six. The midfield got a six. You know, Sabitzer got the assist, but again, he was exactly the hardest thing. Anthony missed and did the exact same thing six times, hitting the board to the left side of the right post. It was like, how many times do you miss the same thing over and over again until you learn it's not working? Rashford just runs in a straight line. Everything Dan James, Alanga, and the rest of them have been doing for years, but he will not get hate. Goal was great, but as a player, he has just looked lackluster in the last couple of games. I've got to be honest, as a player, Rashford just doesn't bring anything special. He just runs at the player, hopes the player will go left or right. And I think the fact that this guy gets compared to Bakayo Saka on a regular basis, Rashford's a better goal scorer, Bakayo Saka's a better player, and I think it's time myself and more Man United, play, uh, Man United fans realise this. The fact that he gets put on the pedestal, similar to Leal, Benazir's June, and Mbappe is embarrassing because he's he's so lazy. This is the thing why I never got my hopes about Rashford. He's had a phenomenal season on the scoring aspect. But as a player, he is just so lazy at times. He'll whinge about things. He'll moan about things. The past two games have shown that. I and mean, I've probably seen it throughout the season, but the goals should cover over that because you're more concerned about the win. And yes, he scored yesterday, but other than that, he had a shit game in comparison to what he should be doing. Again, he's probably had a long season. He's probably knacked from carrying this team. But again, he only woke up after the World Cup because Cristiano Ronaldo was carrying the team in goal-wise. So it's an intriguing factor. The only things I can say is I'm glad Vegas didn't get on the pitch. I'm glad Martial got some game time. Same with Fred. Uh, well, I'm so, I can't remember who came on, to be honest. Uh, but overall, the win, a win's a win. Players... A couple of players need to start working a bit harder. It's great to see some bits as, you know, find a bit of consistency. Bruno had a couple of good moments. McTominay had better games, say, with Dallo. And Malashi had bright sparks. I think Shaw went off injured. But again, you know, we have to play better against Everton. More, we kept Brentford out of the game. But it's not, 1-0 is a very tough thing to have for a very long period. We got it in the first half. You know, Tony didn't show up yesterday. I still... I think he's a fantastic player, but again, I just don't think he's built for United. Brentford is clearly his level, I think. Um, I don't care that you can score against other random teams if you are ghosting at United because he... but again, say he wasn't offered the service, you come and find the ball. There was no point where Tony offered himself. You know, he was tackled very easily. <clears throat> and I think Harry Kane is the obvious pick. If we pick Tony up, I wouldn't be against it. But again, he's not the answer. Same with Osman, not the answer. He is good in Italy. Can he do it in in England? It remains to be seen. There's only Harry Kane of the three options that make any sense. Uh, but overall, a great game. You know, it was very boring to watch. Uh, but we got the, the three points. That all, That's all that matters. The players didn't really burn too much fuel. And it was sort of a, uh, you could look at it as a very easy result. But again, they have to start putting the ball in the back of the net just to make it a bit easier for them so they're not chasing the game. As long as the game is 1-0, there's always that chance you can lose. If it's 2-3-0, you're easy. You can you can ghost a bit. You can have a bit of bad moments here and there. But again, clinicalness has to improve because that's our first goal since blah, 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 it's fallen, which is like four games ago. So need to improve, need to get better, and hopefully... Uh, it will come once Cassie and stuff come back to the team as well as Ericsson so let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on the Brentford Man United game I'll be back for the next game of the weekend Everton United and subscribe and like goodbye